Good morning, everyone. I'm Julia Astashkina, Partner Marketing Lead for Solution Partners at Neo4j. And I'm pleased to welcome you and welcome Bearing Point team to our five minute interviews. Could you please introduce yourselves? Sure. My name is Gideon, and I work as a data and analytics consultant at Bearing Point. Hi, my name is uh, Nathan uh, Meiberger. I work as a senior analytics uh, consultant also for, uh, for Bearing Point. My name is Sanne Lechtenberg, also working at Bearing Point as a technology consultant. Welcome. Well, for our newer audience and people not that familiar with graph technology, could you tell us what your definition of graph technology is? Uh, graph technology and graph databases is a new way of storing your data. So in traditional databases, uh, we rather focus on storing data entities. But in graph databases, we also explicitly store the relation between those data entities. For example, in a normal database, you would store in a couple rows that uh, Nathan, Sanne, myself, and we can say we all work at bearing point. But in a graph database, you also store the relation between us. For example, that we are colleagues. And uh, yeah, this way of storing data gives a lot of benefits. And what are some of those benefits that clients might experience? Uh, for example, by storing the relationships between your data entities, you can uh, easily better get insights in uh, how is all your data connected. Relations that you wouldn't have seen if you have stored all your data separately. Yeah, a graph database makes it also easy to connect all the data that you have, and it's very scalable. And also in the way you want to retrieve data, uh, with a graph database, because you store already those relations, it's very easy to and quick to retrieve data and you can create easily a 360 view of, for example, your customers or a network you have. So it's a lot of uh, applications you have with dev, uh, graph technology in easily getting insights in the data you have. Well, that, that makes sense. And uh, what expertise does Bearing Point have to make these kinds of implementations successful? Well, uh, first, Bearing Point has a strong business expertise uh, and is therefore able to, one, identify the real business problem and two, organize the work around an implementation, such as project and change management. Next to that, we have uh, the techno te technological and analytical expertise to build a data model implement Neo4j in your architecture, create working software, and perform advanced analytics uh, on the graph technology. So within Bearing Point, business, uh, technology, and analytics teams work closely together, and therefore we are able to guide the full process, all the way from identifying uh, the business problem to designing and implement full stack uh, graph solutions. And in which situations have you already used a graph database? Well, we have guided multiple clients with, uh, with their implementation. Uh, maybe I can highlight uh, two of those. So one of our clients, uh, a knowledge institute, was looking for a way to better structure, gain insights and provide better and personalized search results on all their textual data. So what we created for them is something called a knowledge graph, a graph database for all your knowledge. So exactly what a knowledge institute needs. And then on top of this graph database, we build a web-based application for the end user to ask questions to this database. And another great example is our resourcing graph. The power of a graph is that it can easily provide you a 360 degree view on any object. So for example, on your employees for HR purposes. Uh, the goal of this resourcing graph is to provide insights in your people, their skills, their competencies, uh, the projects on which they're staffed, the connections between them, etc. Among others, it can help you uh, better staff projects or identify scarce skills and critical employees based on their expertise uh, and shape your recruitment policy. Well, thank you for sharing that insight. So how do you handle these kinds of projects? Well, first of all, it's important that at Bearing Point, we're always working together with the different service lines and the different business perspective, perspectives they have. Uh, in the end, we are a business consultancy that wants to add value to a client. And that also means we see technology as a means to an end. Uh, so we will always start with identifying a, a problem or the ambition at a client. Um, we identify pain points and opportunities in the organization, and we find a matching solution, which in turn could be um, the graph database. 
Uh, we then align with the client on expectations, on the potential users, we design use cases and figure out which data sources are relevant. Uh, and based on all that information the client gives us, we are able to work towards an MVP version where we leverage our technology team, for example, or our data and analytics team, who are able to connect all these dif different data sources and write the actual scripts to make it work. So that's um, the way we really align business and technology. We bundle the knowledge together in order to, to reach a business objective that really adds value to the client.